So the first reading reminded me of a story that I heard once about a group of atheists who were upset that they didn't have a holiday of their own. And so they brought a, a judgment. They were seeking a judgment in court. And their argument was that Catholics, Christians, Jews, all kinds of other people have their holidays, Christmas, Hanukkah, other days. And so they argued that they should also be given a day. And the judge said, well, you have your own day. They said, we do. And they, he said, it's April 1st. And he quoted this scripture, all men were by nature foolish who were in ignorance of God. Kind of des describes them, doesn't it? They wanted to be ignorant of God, and so they had their own day, April Fool's Day. But we're nowhere near April, as weather reminds us, as it gets colder and colder. But we are coming to the end. We're coming to the end of a liturgical year. We're coming to the end of a calendar year. And we are coming to an end, but we don't know when that end will be. And Scripture reminds us today, Jesus reminds us today in the Gospel, that no one knows when the end is, when the end will come. Certainly in 2004, when an earthquake hit in the Indian Ocean, the people of Sumatra, many of them thought the world was ending as they saw a wave of a tsunami coming toward them. And for many of them, the world did end, didn't it? As they knew it. In 1883, I believe it was, when an earthquake, when a, an, um, sorry, when a volcano hit in the Krakatoa in the island of Sumatra. Half of the island or much of the island was destroyed and those purple people certainly thought it was the end of the world. In 1755, on November 1st, there was an earthquake in Lisbon and much of the city was destroyed. And many in Europe who felt that earthquake thought it was the end of the world. And for the people who died, the world as they knew it had ended. And so we have all of these reminders throughout history that the world is ending and we have to be prepared. But the fact of the matter is that our life as we know it will come to an end here on earth. Are we prepared? It's a question that each of us has to ask ourselves. We worry about the end of the world cataclysmically. And we hear in the gospel, the days of Noah, the people weren't prepared. Will they be prepared for the days of the Son of Man when the Son of Man comes at the end of time? We can worry about that. We can worry about it like we did when the calendar was changing at the millennium, the second millennium, just as the people of the first millennium, the millenarists, worried about the world coming to an end. It didn't, did it? Not even our computers were destroyed in the year 2000, as many people thought they would be. But people died, didn't they? In the year 2000, 2012, 2015, 2019. It's a reminder to us. Whenever we celebrate the resurrection mass or a funeral, if you will, for a loved one, it's a reminder to us that we need to be prepared. As we approach the end of a liturgical year, as we prepare for the season of Advent, we hear these readings that remind us of the preparation that is necessary to encounter the end. It's a challenge, isn't it? It's a challenge for all of us to put our life in order to be at peace with others, to be at peace with God, to be at peace with ourselves. Certainly one of those ways to prepare best is the sacrament of reconciliation, isn't it? But also to be reconciled with one another. There is so much disunity, so much division in the world, in our nation. We are people, Christians who believe in love and peace, believe that Jesus is our life and our hope certainly must be agents of unity, of peace, to heal divisions in our parishes, in our lives, in the world. 
we ask the Lord, the Son of Man, as we prepare ourselves to encounter him, whenever that day may be. I may be gone in 10 years or 15 or 20. Hmm, I don't know if I want to last that long. Or tomorrow. I need to be prepared, don't I? We all do. So we ask the Lord to enter our hearts, into our minds, into our lives, as he is there, that we may acknowledge his presence and come to reconciliation with him, with others, that we may know his presence in the kingdom in the place of that final banquet where all will be at peace, all will be at love, and all will be in God's presence.